guys, welcome to our video on making puppets. Okay, so what we're doing at the moment, we're just making, we're making Anna and Elsa puppets. And these are going to be the skirts. So we've got some paper cups. We've mixed glue and paint together in these bowls. And we're just painting the skirts at the moment. One. Now I'll go paint the sticks in two colours. You're painting two sticks in the same colour, yeah? Yeah, I'm painting this one in blue. I'll paint one in green. Okay. Stick were all left like so and paint it right here. And, and Lyra is doing the So we've okay. just propped these then sticks up to dry. So these are going to be the sticks we're using for Elsa. And these are the sticks in the base we're using for Anna. And this white stick that we're painting is going to be for Olaf. Okay, guys, so we're making Elsa on again because we have to put the paint on them. So okay, so what we've done, we've cut some heads out of, um, we had a frozen magazine here. Um, or you could print pictures of what their faces look like off the internet. And then we've cut them out, we've mounted them on some white card, so we've glued them on some white card, and then we've cut them out. And then we've put the first head on our lollipop stick, we've just stuck it on the back there. Okay, so that's Anna's head, so we're going to give Anna some arms, and then we can put her pink on arms. the skirt. There's pink arms. We're going to have so pink, guys. you want pink arms? Okay. Yeah. So guys, can I can tell you about that Elsa book, that Elsa book is mine, and... And I thought we can count the heads. Good idea. One. So we just write the pie pie grill and we use a little bit of tape so so it can't move. Can you show back. us the back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we just wrapped the pipe clean around a few times and we've stuck it with some tape. So these are going to be our arms. Um obviously if you don't have pipe cleaners you could use something else for the arms. One. So we just stick the stick then the Yeah, so we've made it an extra long stick, so we've stuck the two lollipop sticks together, so it's extra long. Now we can pop it in the top. Um, just be a little bit careful where they join up. We might need to... That's it. And now it's perfect because you've got the stick at the bottom you can hold on to. Turn it round, let's see the puppet. And we've got our Anna puppet ready to go. Hi, Anna. Hi. Lovely. So should we make the others? Okay, to make Sven, we're doing it slightly differently. So the, we're still going to have the long stick um, to hold on to. Um, so we're still going to use that. We're still going to use the long stick to hold on to, but that's going to be one of his legs. Um, and then we're going to have another stick as the body. So we're going to be putting two sticks together um, with the head like this. Uh, let's just, in fact, let's stick the head on first. So turning it over so we're going to start off by sticking the head onto a stick like we've done with all the other characters um, I've just made that stick out a little bit so I need the scissors oh there they are okay my bit of tape was a bit too long there okay so just cut that bit cut any excess cut any extra tape off yeah so it doesn't stick out or you could fold it round if you wanted to um, it's easier to cut it off right I'm just going to make sure this is really strong So do it with more than one um, piece of tape. You don't want it falling off mid puppet show. That's true. Right. Okay, so that's the first part. So this is going to be one of his legs um, as well as his body. Yeah. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have this bit coming um, along the back here. And then we can put some um, legs coming down. What's that? Looks kind of weird from the back. but Yeah. When you won't see the, the back. When it's in the show, it'll look amazing. Okay, so if I turn that round now, I've still got a few bits of tape to cut, but this is the bit we're holding. Um, and and so if I was holding him on a stage, it's like this. Hello. Okay. So it right. looks good. Okay, so that's um, Sven done. Okay, so we've just stuck his um, head on the top of our lollipop stick. Um, we're going to do the arms next, the same way we did the others. So we get the pipe cleaner um, roughly halfway like that. Um, and then just fold it that way. I'm just going to do that. Yeah, like that. leave that one out there. Fold this one this way. Um, what you can do if you want it to be super um, secure is you can put this one back through. You need sticky tape. Some flexible arms. I got yeah. some sticky tape. I didn't bother doing this on the others, but you could if you wanted to make it so that it's um, there you go, a bit stronger. Yeah, like that. So they can't come off. Um, so we've got his arms. We need to um, add a bit of tape as well. So I'm just going to stick a bit of tape this side and a bit of tape this side just to secure the arms. Um, so we'll do that next. Oh, no, I did it. 
Right, so we're going to stick here, and then on the other side, we'll do exactly the same. We're just going to stick just to make sure that they're secure. Oh, you're going to give me some tape, Sky. Thank you. Okay, so we've done that. So that's got his um, that's got his arms. Okay, so now so now for his trousers, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a yellow stick, and I'm going to put the yellow in. Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to put the yellow in front, okay, like this, because the body's going to be shorter than the legs, especially as we're going to be holding part of the leg. So, thank you. So we're going to stick, so we're going to be sticking this now um, around like this, okay? So we're going to be sticking this lolly stick onto this. I'm going to use more than one bit of tape for this. So make sure that we've used... I'm okay at the moment. So we're just going to make sure that there's plenty of tape holding those two sticks together. Right, so once we've done that, see now, the only problem with him at the moment is he only has one leg. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to use the other lolly stick um, and we're going to put it at an angle so that it looks like he's walking. And I'm actually gonna cut it a tiny bit shorter. So if I just use the scissors, if I line it firstly how I want it, I want his other leg to come to about here. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm just going to cut the stick tight. I'm just going to cut a tiny bit off this stick. If you're a child doing this, this is the point where you would probably get a grown-up to help. Um, they're not that tricky to cut, but just be a little bit easy. careful. Okay, so I've cut that. Now I can put the leg um, at an angle from behind. And we've got. Thank you. Sky's kindly cut me some sticky tape, so I'm going to stick it there. But again, because we want it to be really strong, we're going to make sure that we use plenty of tape and I'm going to wrap that right round to hold that leg in position. I'm going to put a little bit of tape as well. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Guys, we should, we should use some tape, right, Mum? Yeah. Lots of tape. We used, we've used lots of tape on the whole puppet, haven't we? Okay. So, and I'm just going to do a bit of tape on the back as well. Oh, oh you're going to cut it for me. Careful then. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So make sure that you've stuck your boot on like that. Now, when I, because of this one here, I feel like it's, it's going to look too long if I stick it down here. So I, I think I'm actually going to trim this stick a little bit more. Um, so I probably didn't trim it short enough at the beginning. So again, you might want to get a grown-up to help with this. Um, but I'm going to just trim the bottom of that stick. And I've tried to do it so it's not too sharp. Um, and now I can put the other boot on just here. Ooh. Ah, it's a bit tricky. It's a little bit fiddly sometimes doing the sticking. It all adds up though at the end. Yeah, I think if you're a younger child wanting to do this, you definitely need um, a grown-up a grown-up or an older sibling to help. There are um, lots of bits that the younger child can do as well, though, like the painting, the lolly sticks at the beginning, choosing, tape. getting tape ready, choosing, tape. thank you, Sky, choosing what colour pipe cleaners they want to choosing use for the arms, even. choosing what characters, characters. Yeah, you don't have to do the frozen characters. Um, you might want to make, well, any characters you like, really. These are um, just our ones that we've thought of. Yeah. Um, other ideas, if you didn't have lolly sticks, maybe you could use um, straws to make the bodies. Um, or you could do some... Um, or you can roll... A really good way to make um, strong straws. If you've got a piece of paper um, like this, you can basically roll um, paper really tightly. I'm just going to show you this because it's quite a good technique. Roll paper really, or card, paper or thin card. Roll it really tightly, um, and you can basically make your own. Um, me, you can make your own straw, Excuse and this me. would also um, make a really strong. So if I stuck that there, this would also make a really strong body. You can see how strong it is because I'm bashing it and it's not bending. You could make a really strong body um, for a puppet. Excuse so if you don't have lolly sticks, this Dad. is a good alternative. Excuse me, can we draw it? Right, so we've got our, um, oh, and I've made him a little belt as well. We're going to stick a little belt um, just here, me, just to kind of add a bit of detail where the lolly sticks go in. Excuse like me, that. guys. Should we put his belt on? Excuse me, guys. We can stick it with sticky tape. Thank you. Sticky. 
You're doing such a good job getting the tape ready, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And you're being very careful with the scissors, aren't you? Mm -hmm. There we go. So now he's got his belt. Do you think he's ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this skirt is a bit, okay. This skirt is a little bit wobbly. It keeps sliding around because we made the hole a bit top, a bit big in the cup. So to stop the skirt falling down, I'm going to use a pipe cleaner. And inside the skirt, basically where the two lollipop sticks join, um, I'm going to wrap this pipe cleaner round. Wait a minute, please, Sky. We're just going to wrap the pipe cleaner round. I'm doing it the bit where the two sticks join because this is the widest part. Um, but I'm trying to do it quite tightly. That should stop the skirt from falling Well, and then I'm going to slide it up. So I'm going to do, wrap it round like this. And then once I've done that, um, I'm then going to push it gently push the pipe cleaner that I've done up a bit to wherever I want the skirt to be. So that's still a little bit low. I'm going to go up a tiny bit more. But, oops, oh no, gone too high now. <laughs> right, so I've put the pipe cleaner where I want it. So now that's going to stop the skirt from falling down. You could also, if you wanted to, use another pipe cleaner and wrap it around the body here. Um, obviously you might not have pipe cleaners again, so you could use something different. You could use some blue tack underneath um, to hold it in place. You could use some string. Um, so obviously whatever you've got at home um, but I do recommend getting a big pack of pipe cleaners for crafts because it's really good fun and um, you can make all sorts of things with pipe cleaners it's helpful as well they're also great when you have crazy hair day at school <laughs> oh, <laughs> and yes. you have to do funky things with your hair pipe cleaners are really fun for that um, there we go so now um, the skirt is staying much more in place. The skirt can't go up and it can't go down too much. And it wobbles so it looks like she dances as well. Like, woo. <laughs> okay, so that's Elsa there. You can shape the arms, as I say. Um, if you wanted to, we could give her some white gloves or something. There we go. Okay, so there's different ways that you could make a setting for your puppet show. Um, we've got found a Frozen um, picture from the Frozen musical facebook page um, it's like a zoom background so i've put it on my computer and hooked it up with an hdmi cable onto the tv um, and then we've got this melissa and doug shopping um stand christoph looks very funny is that going to be part of the part of the show <laughs> okay so this is this is going to be our setting with our backdrop so and i can obviously set up so that when i'm filming the show i get close like that and the girls are going to sit just off the edge here either side rather than crouching down behind um, and the girls are just making some snowflakes to hang down um so can you show us how to make the snowflakes okay so the first thing you've got to do is fold it first in half yep neatly as you can um, and then in half again. So okay. then Sky's already got hers made. So yours is so ready. Then you've got a little square. Don't worry, it's not going to stay little. So then what you're going to do is you're going to get your scissors and you're just going to cut out lots of little slits until you're happy. So you can cut the corners off. You might want to cut some other shapes going further in. Nice and careful if you're a little one using scissors. You might need a grown-up to help you with this. So you're just going to keep on uh, cutting until you're happy with it, really. Um, I might cut, like, a little triangle on the side. Okay, and it's important when you're doing this not to, to make sure you leave some of the edges like this in between where you're not cutting. If you cut the whole edge off, then, it's gonna um, cut then it won't thing. open out again. Yeah, so do that. I cut um, the side, guys. So you've cut a few of them. I'm just going to help um, to cut a few more with um, Sky and then we'll open them out. Okay, so we've cut some shapes um, into the edge. So we've cut kind of a funny half star. We've cut a heart. Mine. And some triangles. I've done Mine's kind of How did you cut that one in the middle? Did you fold so it again I to do that? Folded it lightly this way, and just cut, cut the middle it, one. Okay, lovely. So can we open those out and see what they look yeah. like now? What? I'm just gonna open it all out. Wow, and it's a and snowflake. Lovely. Snowflake and let's see yours. 
Can you open it right out? Open it all the way. Wow. Oh. And then these snowflakes, we can attach some string and then they can hang like a pretty decoration. Now we can do all them. Hello boys and girls. Everything's got to be perfect. It's Olaf's birthday today. Everything's got to be up. Not smashed down. Gotta get everything ready because it's Olaf's birthday today. Hey, hey, Olaf's birthday today. Hey, hey, yes, it's Olaf's birthday. Okay, I think that the courtyard is just about all set up. Hey, Elsa, where are you? No, I just need Elsa. Elsa. I'm, I'm getting this Are you ready now? Okay. Wow, you look beautiful. Thanks. I like your new dress. Okay, um, hmm, up there, don't you think that the decorations need a little more? Maybe. Maybe you could use your magic. Everybody, on the count of three, say, the, say let it go with us. One, two, three. Let it go! Thank you, Elsa. That's perfect. Oh, I hope Olaf likes them. So where is Olaf? Oh, Sven's distracting him. I wonder what everyone else is doing. The fight Kristoff. Oh yeah, Kristoff should be here soon. Mm -hmm. I'm here. Kristoff, you're at the choices. Interesting. Go change right now. Okay. Kristoff, are you ready? Yep, I've changed. Is this a bit better? Yeah. Definitely. Now we just need Olaf to arrive. Hey guys, I'm back from my... What's all this? Happy birthday, Olaf. Oh boy, thank you guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Olaf. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Woo! Okay, Olaf, our main present for you is a rainbow 